Hi, freshmen. Welcome back to advisory. Counselors are back to review part two of our programming process. Today, we'll look at subject area pathways so that you can see the pathway of courses for each subject area that you need to complete for graduation and the courses that are available to you. Then you'll have the opportunity to review our course descriptions where teachers have included important information about each class that we offer at Del Mar so that you know what you'll be learning and what the expectations are. Finally, we'll preview the academic plan that you will be creating in your ARIES account to review with your counselor in your one-to-one -one meeting next week. Before we get into specific subject areas, we'd like to show you what these pathways will look like to help you read them and start to make some decisions about what classes you would like to take. For each pathway, you'll see columns for 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th grade. Start by finding the course that you are currently taking in the ninth grade for each subject. Then you'll see the courses that are available to you in the 10th, 11th, and 12th grade to complete each subject area requirement. Let's start with social science. All students are required to take three years of social science for graduation, and this starts in the 10th grade. All sophomore students take government and economics in the 10th grade. Moving into the junior and senior year, students will have a choice. They can take either IB History of the Americas, HL Year 1 and 2, or US History and World History. IB History of the Americas, HL, is a two-year course that spans the junior and senior year and is the more advanced option to complete the graduation requirement. In either case, students will be well prepared coming out of government and economics to take either IB History of the Americas or US History and World History. On the bottom, you'll see some social science electives. These are optional one-year courses that students can choose to take in the junior or senior year, along with either IB History of the Americas or US History and World History. Moving on to English, all freshman students start by taking English 1 in the ninth grade year. In 10th grade, students have a choice. They can take either English 2 or English 2 ICAP. English 2 ICAP is our more advanced version of English at the 10th grade level, and students who have been doing well in their English 1 class should definitely consider taking it. Moving into junior and senior year to fill out the four-year English requirement, students can either take IB Language and Literature HL or English 3, an expository reading and writing. IB Language and Literature is our more advanced option for English and spans two years over junior and senior year. English 3 and expository reading and writing meet the same requirement towards graduation. Moving on to math, there are a lot of options for math, but we'll go over these pathways. All students are required to take three years of math for graduation but four years are strongly recommended by both community colleges and four-year colleges to prepare students for post-secondary education after high school. For students who start out in the freshman year taking Integrated Math 1, they'll move on to Integrated Math 2 in the sophomore year. Students who are earning A's in their Integrated Math 2 class in the first semester will move on to take Integrated Math 3 STEM. We also have Integrated Math 3 as an option in the junior year. After Integrated Math 3, students can have the choice of taking our IB Math Applications and Interpretations course or IM4 and Pre-Calculus. Out of IM3 STEM, students still have the option to take IB Math or IM4 Pre-Calculus, but they also can take AP Calculus AB for students who are interested in getting to our highest levels of math. For students who start in Integrated Math 2, moving into the sophomore year, They'll take Integrated Math 3, or students who are getting an A in their first semester will take Integrated Math 3 STEM, and then move on to Integrated Math 4 and Pre-Calculus in the junior year. They then will have the choice to take IB Math, Applications and Interpretations, or AP Calculus in the senior year. For students who are choosing to take the IB Diploma, they will have their IB Math coursework embedded in the Integrated Math 4 and AP Calc courses so they can make sure to meet the requirements of the IB Diploma. 
No matter the pathway that students follow for math, they will have the opportunity to take an AP or IB exam in math by the time they are seniors with the possibility to earn college credit. If you're unsure what pathway to take for math, that's okay. You definitely have time to think about it and you'll be talking with your math teachers, especially to learn more about the content and about the options that you have. Moving on to science, all students are required to take three years of science for graduation, starting with physics in the ninth grade. All freshman students take physics in ninth grade and then move on to chemistry in the 10th grade. For the third year of science, in the junior year, students have a choice of taking our one-year biology course or our two-year advanced biology course, IB Biology HL, which spans over the junior and senior year. You'll also see a number of science electives on the bottom, which are, again, optional courses that students can choose to take. These courses in blue here would be in addition to either biology or IB biology. Looking at language, all students are required to take two years of a language in order to graduate. And starting in freshman year, students may be in Spanish one, Spanish speakers, or French. For Spanish one, students starting in ninth grade will move on to Spanish two in the 10th grade. They then can take Spanish three as juniors and move on to our one year advanced IB Spanish course as seniors. For students who are native Spanish speakers, starting off in Spanish speakers one in the ninth grade, they'll move on to Spanish speakers two in the 10th grade, and then our two year IB Spanish course, junior and senior year. Students beginning in French one in the ninth grade, move on to French two as 10th graders, and then have French three and IB French in the junior and senior year. We definitely encourage our students to continue beyond the two-year language requirement if they are interested and have room in their schedule. Moving on to our IB advanced courses in language gives students the opportunity to earn the California State Seal of Biliteracy, which is an amazing accomplishment coming out of high school and a combination of students' coursework in English and a language other than English. This is definitely a great achievement and we encourage students to pursue it in their language. Moving on to PE, all students need to take two years of PE in order to graduate. All freshmen start by taking ninth grade PE. Moving into the sophomore year, they can take 10th grade PE and then be done with their requirement if they choose. We do have an option for the 11th or 12th grade year for elective PE. This is different from what students are doing in the 9th and 10th grade. It's more of a weightlifting and fitness class for students who want to stay active and work out in their elective PE course. Some students will choose to take our sports PE, cheer PE, or marching PE program to earn credit for their participation in these activities. One of the requirements is that all students take ninth grade PE in order to apply for the program. For students doing sports PE, they'll need to take ninth grade PE and participate in two Del Mar sports as freshmen and then apply in the spring of their freshman year to do sports PE as sophomores. Students interested in doing cheer PE will need to do ninth grade PE as a freshman and participate in the cheer program and then apply in the spring of their freshman year in order to take cheer PE. They'll need to complete two seasons of cheer, one in the 10th grade and one in the 11th grade. Similarly for marching PE, all students will start by taking ninth grade PE and participating in the Del Mar marching band as freshmen, then apply in the spring of their freshman year in order to take marching PE. They'll need to complete their marching season in 10th and 11th grade to earn credit. Students who are in our military science program will also earn PE credit for the classes that they are taking. Students start in military science one as freshmen and then move on to military science two as sophomores. Students are encouraged to participate in the program for all four years, continuing with military science three in the junior year and military science four in the senior year. When it comes to electives, we offer a wide range of classes here at Del Mar. So don't let this overwhelm you when you first look at it. 
Again, you'll look at each grade level to see what courses are offered to you, but we've organized them in a way to help you see how each class fits to meet graduation requirements. In this top box in the blue, you'll see visual and performing arts classes. Remember that all students need to take at least one visual and performing arts class in any year of high school. You may be taking a visual and performing arts class this year as a freshman, which is great, or you may be planning to take it in another year of high school. No matter when you take it, it will still satisfy the requirement. Moving into the yellow box, you'll see CTE courses. These are considered career technical education courses. After students take one performing arts class, they have a choice. They can either take another performing arts class or a CTE course. And the courses in these yellow boxes here will meet that CTE requirement. In the red, you'll see a number of programs that waive that second year of visual and performing arts or the CTE requirement. For students that are participating in AVID, Leadership, or ROTC, our military science program, those courses will waive that second year visual and performing art and CTE requirement for graduation. In the purple category, you'll see a number of general electives in the freshman, sophomore, and junior and senior year. You'll notice that for all of these subject areas, there are even more courses available to juniors and seniors. So you'll have a lot of choice as you move into the higher grade levels of high school. To help you start to make some decisions and learn more about the courses that we offer, we invite you to view our Delmar course descriptions document. This document has been created by your teachers for you to learn more about the courses that we offer at Delmar. It's organized in a similar fashion that you saw the subject area pathways to see what courses are offered for each grade level by their subject area or graduation requirement. This document is linked so that any course that you're interested in learning more about you can click on the link and it will take you directly to the description that's provided by your teachers. You'll see what topics you'll be learning about, how much workload or what the expectations are in terms of assignments and exams, and questions that teachers get from students frequently. Review this document so that you can see all of the options available to you and help start to make some decisions about classes that you'd like to take. This includes all of the courses that you need to take for graduation, as well as our electives, some of our advanced courses, anything that you might wanna be taking at Del Mar, this document will give you an idea of exactly what to expect to make sure that you're taking classes you're interested in and that you want to explore while you're here in high school. We wanna make sure that you know about a couple of important events that are coming up in the second semester. Starting on January 13th, right when we come back at the beginning of spring semester, we'll host an event that's called Can I Be B For Me? This event is run by students. It's a panel of students who have taken our IB courses and we'll talk about their experience in each class so that you get a student perspective of what the classes are like. In March, we'll have a college and career night where you can learn more about how to research colleges or careers that you're interested in including IB courses and the SVCTE program. April 1st, the Friday before spring break is the last day to re request a change to your schedule. We wanna make sure that we give students the opportunity to explore the courses that we offer at Del Mar and make the best decisions for themselves. For the sophomore year, April 1st is the last day to make a change to your schedule. We start building our, our master schedule and hiring our teachers based on student request and we wanna make sure that we have everything that students are requesting and we can offer it for the following school year. Coming up this week, counselors will be visiting your English classes on Thursday and Friday to go over all the questions that you may have about classes and pathways and to help you build your academic plan. What you're viewing here is a preview of what your plan will look like throughout high school. You'll get to choose what courses you want to take in order to meet graduation requirements and then meet with your counselor to review those choices individually. We will go through this process every year with our students to help you make decisions and see what courses are available, and you'll get to meet with your counselor one-on-one -on -one each time. Right now, we're mostly focusing on the sophomore year to make sure that we've got your schedule set for classes that you want to take for next year, but we definitely want students to be looking ahead 
and thinking about courses that they want to take in the junior and senior year, especially since you have so much choice moving forward. Counselors are excited to come and visit you in your classes and we will see you on Thursday and Friday. We'll be visiting your English class to help answer any questions that you have and to help you enter your academic plan into ARIES. Then next week, we'll be calling students in individually to meet with you one-on-one. -on -one. We'll talk about how you're doing in your classes, answer questions that you have, and look over your academic plan together to help you get set for the next couple of years of high school. We're excited to see you and we look forward to talking about your future with you.